Hello everyone, welcome to Math is Fun. Our lesson for today is all about dividing fractions. First, we're going to discuss dividing whole number by a fraction. Narito ang ating mga halimbawa kung paano tayo mag-divide ang whole number by a fraction. Find the quotient. Reduce your answer to lowest term if it is possible. When we say quotient, it is the answer in division. 5 divided by 2 thirds. Lalagyan natin ang denominator na 1 ang ating whole number na 5. So, 5 over 1. Ang usual process natin kung paano tayo mag-divide ng fraction by another fraction is we're going to get the reciprocal of the divisor. Yung pangalawang fraction, babalik ta rin natin. Instead na 2 third, ito ay magiging 3 over 2. Tapos yung division natin ay magiging multiplication. Pero dito sa ituturo ko sa inyo, ay hindi na natin babalik ta rin ang 2 third. Instead, gagamitan natin ng cross multiplication. Pariho lang naman ang sagot nun. So, 5 times 3 is equal to 15. 1 times 2 is equal to 2. Tapos, evaluate natin ang ating sagot, 15 over 2. Anong klaseng fraction ito? Ito ay improper fraction. So, lahat ng improper fraction ay gagawin nating mixed number para magiging lowest term. So, paano natin gagawin itong mixed fraction? Just divide the numerator by the denominator. So, 15 divided by 2, the answer is equal to 7. 7 times 2 is equal to 14. 15 minus 14 is equal to 1. Tapos, itong 1 na remainder natin ay gagawin nating numerator at ang 2 na divisor ay gagawin nating denominator. So, 15 halves is equal to 7 and 1 half. This is our final answer. Another example, 7 divided by 4 ninth. So, ganun pa rin ang gagawin natin. Lalagyan natin ang denominator na 1, ang ating whole number. So, 7 over 1 divided by 4 ninth. Then, cross multiply. 7 times 9 is equal to 63. 1 times 4 is equal to 4. 63 over 4 is an improper fraction. So, we're going to divide 63 by 4. 6 divided by 4 is equal to 1. 1 times 4 is equal to 4. 6 minus 4 is equal to 2. Bring down 3. So, 23 divided by 4 is equal to 5. 5 times 4 is equal to 20. 23 minus 20 is equal to 3. Tapos itong remainder 3, gagawin nating numerator. Ang 4 na divisor ay gagawin nating denominator. So, 63 fourth or 15 and 3 fourth. Ito yung ating pinaka sagot. Ang susunod nating pag-aralan ay dividing fraction by a whole number. Find the quotients, reduce your answer to lowest term if it is possible. 2 seventh divided by 9. So, dito ang ating divisor ay whole number. Ganun pa rin yung process natin. Lalagyan natin ng denominator na 1 ang ating whole number. Tapos, gagamitan natin ng cross multiplication. So, 2 times 1 is equal to 2. 7 times 9 is equal to 63. Tapos, titingnan natin ang ating answer kung meron pa tayong common factor. 2 over 63. 63 ba ay divisible ng 2? So, hindi. Ibig sabihin, ang 2 over 63 ay wala na common factor. So, this is our final answer. Another example. 3 8 divided by 5. So, again, lalagyan natin ng denominator na 1 ang ating whole number. Then, cross multiply. 3 times 1 is equal to 3. 8 times 5 is equal to 40. Tapos, evaluate natin yung ating answer kung meron pa bang common factor. 3 over 40. Ang 40 ba divisible ng 3? Tama, hindi. 
So, ang 3 over 40 ay nasa lowest term na. Ang susunod nating pag-aralan ay dividing fraction by a fraction. 2 ninths divided by 3 fifths. Same process, we're going to use cross multiplication. 2 times 5 is equal to 10. 9 times 3 is equal to 27. Tapos evaluate natin yung sagot natin na 10 over 27. Sa tingin nyo, may common factor pa ba ang 10 over 27? Tama, wala ng common factor ang 10 over 27 because 10 is not divisible by 3 and 27 is not divisible by 2. Likewise, 27 is not divisible by 5. So, 10 over 27 is in the lowest term. Another example, 6 8 divided by 1 third. So, cross multiply. 6 times 3 is equal to 18. 8 times 1 is equal to 8. So, ang sagot natin ay 18 over 8 na ito ay tinatawag nating improper fraction because the numerator is greater than their denominator. So, paano natin ito i-reduce sa lowest term? Ang gagawin natin ay divide the numerator by the denominator. 18 divided by 8 is equal to 2. 2 times 8 is equal to 16. 18 minus 16 is equal to 2. Itong 2 na remainder natin, gagawin natin itong numerator. Tapos ang divisor natin na 8, gagawin natin denominator. Tapos evaluate natin ang ating fraction, 2 8. May common factor pa ba ang 2 and 8? Tama, both numerator and denominator are both divisible by 2. So, divide na natin ang ating fraction. Sa final answer natin, kukopyahin muna natin ang ating whole number. Then, 2 divided by 2, the answer is equal to 1. 8 divided by 2, the answer is equal to 4. So, ang pinaka-final answer natin ay 2 and 1 fourth. Next na pag-aaralan natin ay dividing mixed fraction by a fraction. 2 and 1 third divided by 2 fifth. Ang una natin gagawin dito is gagawin natin improper fraction ang ating mixed number. So, paano natin gagawin yun? Itong denominator na 3, imumultiply natin sa whole number 2. Okay, 3 times 2. Ang sagot natin dyan ay ipa-plus naman natin sa ating numerator na 1. So, 3 times 2 is equal to 6. 6 plus 1 is equal to 7. Tapos, kukopyahin natin ang denominator na 3. Tapos, just bring down to 5th. Okay, tapos... We're going to have a cross multiplication. So, 7 times 5 is equal to 35. 3 times 2 is equal to 6. Anong classing fraction? Ang 35 over 6? Tama, ito ay improper fraction. Because the numerator is bigger than the denominator. So, paano natin ito i-reduce sa lowest term? We're going to divide. The numerator by the denominator, 35 divided by 6 is equal to 5. 5 times 6 is equal to 30. 35 minus 30 is equal to 5. Tapos itong 5 na remainder, gagawin nating numerator. Ang 6 na divisor ay gagawin nating denominator. So, 35 over 6 or 5 and 5, 6. And this is our final answer. Next that we're going to study is all about dividing mixed fraction by a mixed fraction. 3 and 2 third divided by 1 and 1 fifth. So, una natin gagawin is, gagawin natin improper fraction ang ating mixed number. So, 3 times 3, tapos ang sagot dito ay, ipa-plus natin sa ating numerator. So, 3 times 3 is equal to 9 and 9 plus 2 is equal to 11 over 3. Kukopyahin lang natin ang ating denominator na 3. 
Tapos divide. Same process. Multiply 5 and 1. Tapos ang sagot natin, add natin siya sa numerator na 1. So, 5 times 1 is equal to 5 plus 1 is equal to 6 over 5. Then, we're going to cross multiply. 11 times 5 is equal to 55. 6 times 3 is equal to 18. Since 55 over 18 is an improper fraction, we're going to divide the numerator by the denominator. So, 55 divided by 18 is equal to 3. 3 times 18 is equal to 54. 55 minus 54 is equal to 1. Tapos itong 1 na ating remainder ay gagawin nating numerator. Tapos yung 18 na divisor ay gagawin nating denominator. So, 55 over 18 or 3 and 1 over 18. So, this is our final answer. I hope that you understand our lesson for today. And thank you for watching.